What's up everybody? Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. It's definitely been an interesting one. We're going to talk about some news. Joe Biden's handlers announced that he is not going to be running for presidency. We're going to talk about what's going on with the Bitcoin spot ETFs. We're going to talk about a miner that I rarely talk about, one that's doing the best today. And this is sort of a recurring theme that the market's been providing us. We're seeing a rotation into certain miners. I do believe until Bitcoin hits new all-time highs, we are going to see this sort of a rotation. Looking at TradingView's heat map, I'll leave you guys a link down below if you're interested. This is just um, a heat map that TradingView provides. It is free. You'll see that in general, we are pretty green today across the board. Of course, there are some outliers. Energy material. Is this because of Biden stepping down? Perhaps. Communications are very red. Consumer non-durables, pretty red. Uh, otherwise, you know, large cap tech is actually having a good day today. But you know who's not really having that great of a day? The Bitcoin miners with exception for one and we'll talk about them it's funny because we started the pre-market nice and green bitcoin was starting to pump sunday it seemed like we we're going to be looking at a good day for the bitcoin miners however the market started to open bitcoin started cooling off just a little bit and that was enough to drop the miners despite bitcoin being higher in price now versus on friday we do have one miner that's up about five percent hive and we'll talk about them later in the video now there's an article going over joe biden deciding to drop down from the next presidency i'll leave it down below for you but i wanted to get this excerpt out the announcement of joe biden's withdrawal triggered an immediate reaction in the crypto market within minutes the price of bitcoin dropped by nearly 2000 from 67.5 to about 65.7 the market doesn't like uncertainty however after that initial uncertainty Bitcoin did recover pretty well, and we saw it into the 68,000s actually, which we haven't seen in quite a long time. Now that Biden's out of the race, Kamala Harris is going to be going for president. I do think the market perceives Trump as the pro-Bitcoin choice. Of course, he's going to the Nashville conference. And increased odds of Trump's success, I think, will bring higher prices to Bitcoin and higher prices to some meme coins, specifically MAGA coin. We also have another coin to keep an eye on. This is the Kamala Harris coin. And of course, we had the Bowden coin, which was Biden's meme coin. This one dropped 50% on Biden's announcement. These coins are a great way to play the upcoming election. I'll likely be avoiding them and having no part in it, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have some fun. And going over to the Trump coin, the MAGA coin, MAGA is painting classic bullish reversal pattern as we approach the upcoming conference. The article mentions that we saw a pump on the failed assassination, but then the market basically took it back. However, that recent pump and dump appear to be part of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. You'll see the shoulder, the head, and the other shoulder. Perhaps we start heading back up, filling out this inverse head and shoulders. And the upcoming Bitcoin conference enhances the likelihood of an inverse head and shoulders breakout. And they say that there's a potential 200% increase here. And uh, this post from X says, Thanks to what the crypto community widely perceives to be Elon Musk's transparent support of Donald Trump, MAGA is the top trending token in crypto. The price is a modest 11% up since bottoming out five hours ago. This article also mentions rate cuts potentially boosting MAGA's price. And all that aside, look at the target rate probabilities. The market is expecting rate cuts. This should help the more speculative assets, the small caps, the ones that need to acquire high amounts of debt, preferably with little interest. We have an update on the spot Bitcoin ETFs. We've had $17 billion in year-to-date net flows now. And look at what we saw on Friday again, net inflows, 383 million to be exact, or 383.6 million to be exact. But yeah, we've been seeing very consistent inflows from the spot Bitcoin ETFs. And think about it. Do you think Wall Street's stupid? Do you think they don't understand the four-year cycle? Do you think that they don't know what comes every four years for Bitcoin? What comes shortly after the halving? They are definitely playing it. They're definitely speculating right now that Bitcoin is going much higher in price by the end of the year and into 2025. There's no denying it at this point. All right, now Bitcoin has been trending up. Bitcoin has been doing great. Bitcoin has been following this ascending channel that we pointed out the other day. One thing that we pointed out the other day was a bearish divergence on the four hour. And while we are higher than that point, we did initially drop perhaps on that news, perhaps on the fact that Biden is not going to be running for president. But you know, we did see a bearish RSI divergence. We were seeing the price rise while the RSI was dropping. And we did actually see it come down from there. We saw it come down all the way to 63.3. One thing that's interesting is we are trying to regain this uh, resistance as a support. It is at the top of this ascending channel. Maybe we find resistance here and start cooling off. I personally doubt it. Right now, we're going to cool down to 60,000. Maybe later on, we cool down in this pattern and it ends up being at 65,000. Remember, this is an ascending channel. As time goes by, the support level moves up. Speaking of support and resistance, Bitcoin is trying to regain its roughly 67,000 support. It was a previous bouncing off point. It was a previous resistance point. It was a previous point where it didn't do a whole lot and the market really didn't react to it much. 
but I do suspect 67 will be an important level to hold. And what are we looking at again? We're seeing the RSI at the same levels, but the price is rising. We are seeing another RSI divergence, a bearish divergence. Be cautious here. We keep getting bearish divergence as we continue to move up. Of course, nothing is 100% in technicals. Sometimes the market just ignores it. Sometimes it just doesn't simply play out. It is not 100% success rate. Otherwise, everyone would be always using it and it would always work. And that is not the case. But what have we been seeing? We have been seeing bearish divergence as we've been moving up. Maybe we see another little pullback like we saw this time. And it brings us down, you know, somewhere around 65,000 to test. What I expect though is I do expect us to fill out this ascending channel and I do expect that we are going to hit new all-time highs at some point in August. My prediction from months ago was that we're going to see 80,000 sometime in August. Maybe it's still possible. I do think at some point in August we will be testing all-time highs and it will come sooner than we expect. Maybe we see an initial cooldown first which I'm perfectly fine with and I do welcome it. Let that RSI get more towards neutral so the next run we go on will be that much more substantial. Let me remind you guys that every cycle we have seen a much more overextended RSI on both the weekly and the monthly. There's no way you can tell me that on a cycle where there's so much institutional adoption, where we're seeing billions of dollars come in from spot Bitcoin ETFs, there's no telling me that Bitcoin topped out here at a lower RSI than we were any time in the last cycles. If we top out here, this is the weakest cycle that Bitcoin's ever had in a cycle where there's so much money flowing in from Wall Street. To me, that just simply doesn't add up. By the end of Bitcoin cycle, by 2025, mark my words, we will see a much more overbought RSI and that'll probably be the time to start packing your bags, at least consider taking some profits off the table, building up some cash for the next potential crypto winter. All right, now last thing, I wanted to mention Hive. This is one that I really don't pay attention to, but one thing that I will keep an eye on is this potential breakout. We do have lower highs, higher lows. I do think the market will react to a breakout of this pattern. One thing that we have approaching is we do have earnings coming. They do expect a pretty large drop in revenue compared to others. They do expect unprofitability, as do many others. That's okay. We just got through the halving, cutting rewards in half. Uh, someone did mention that they were the first to report earnings. However, this was the uh, January, February, March quarter. So the, the quarter that I'm looking for for them to report earnings is the period June. This is the quarter that will contain the halving. This is April, May, and June, and they are going to report it in August, the end of August. Maybe with Hive, we continue kind of running up into earnings, and then we see it pull back after earnings, or we see them beat some numbers, them give some good forward guidance, and we see a breakout of this descending resistance, and we start taking out our previous lower highs. But just look at the run this one went on back in the last cycle. Those were definitely some crazy times, some exciting times, and we likely won't see another 1,800% gain from Hive from here. But if we just so happened to see an 1,800% gain, that would put Hive over $50 if we were to see a similar uh, a repeat of last cycle. I don't necessarily expect that. But can we see Hive potentially do a 4x from here and get to $24, $25? I think that is pretty doable. I think that's light work. When the market starts realizing that these Bitcoin miners are deeply profitable with Bitcoin up in the 80s, 90s, above, so on and so forth, these Bitcoin miners will rally in price. Right now we're at a bit of a rough time. Many are unprofitable. Bitcoin is right like around their break even point, if not a little under, but soon that will change. We have the rest of this cycle and we do have some upcoming quarters. Some We have plenty of time for these Bitcoin miners to still appreciate in price. The cycle is far from over in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the cycle is already over? Do you think this is going to be the weakest for your cycle in Bitcoin's history and why do you think that? And also what do you think about Hive? I definitely think it's going to be worth watching for this breakout and upcoming earnings in August could be the catalyst that causes a huge breakout or it could be Bitcoin's next big move. But keep an eye on this theme as Bitcoin stays kind of range bound, as Bitcoin stays under its all time high, we have been seeing Wall Street get into certain Bitcoin miners, pumps them, then pulls them back, gets into another one, so on and so forth. I do think we're going to see that until Bitcoin breaks new all-time highs and the miners sort of run together. But until then, we're going to see some selective names run. Not long ago, it was Iris Energy. It's been terrible stock. BTBT recently saw a run. Much earlier in the cycle, CleanSpark ran. It's still about 10x from its low. Same with Mara. I think Riot is due for a good run. We'll see if the market agrees. Thanks so much, guys, and I will see you on the next one.